Hey, it's Sol with another video. Okay, it's not just another video because we can finally look into the battle for Azeroth Alpha. No thanks to Bob. Today we're going to take a really brief look at what's up with the greatest tank in WoW, or at least I'd like to say that, the Protection Paladin. This is Alpha, and a really, really look into the class, and I'll be updating you regularly with important changes and how things could play out if it goes live. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can see the evolution of this spec from here until launch so you can be like, wow, it's crazy how things have changed. Or you can lament on the slow death of the spec in part of Blizzard and scream, why, why? So let's jump in. The biggest change to the class at the tanks period is to the way their active mitigation works. For paladins, our shield of the righteous used to grant a full damage reduction while it's active. Now the ability gives us a big armor increase for five seconds. Overall, this feels like a nerf. We lose the magic reduction while only getting an additional 25 or so percent physical damage reduction. The duration of our active mitigation is up by a full half a second longer than it is on live, but well, that's pretty minor. Shield of the Righteous itself has also changed slightly to have a small AoE cone effect attached to it. And it's hard to tell why at the moment. And it sort of sucks because it's an AoE cone. And it's pretty darn narrow. As of now, we don't have any of the traits from our artifact weapon following into the alpha. So no Bulwark of the Order, no Explosive Shield, and Consecration lasts only as long as it's cooldown. I would at least guess that the reason our active mitigation has the cone effect is to make up for the damage nerf, but you know, it doesn't seem necessary. If anything, I know that I'll get a bit frustrated when I pull a bunch of mobs and know that I can only hit a few of them. It's an odd change when we consider our Consecration, our Blessed Hammer, or our Empowered Hammer of the Righteous for those few of you that use that. The AoE cone just doesn't have a place unless Blizzard decides to add some sort of debuff effect to targets hit by the cone too. Light or Hand of the Protector has also had a pretty big change. It has a flat healing component to it now, maybe to make up for the lost artifact trait that gave us a heal over time. Also, while the healing effect is increased based on our missing health, it caps out at 200% of the base heal. Looking at the current numbers then, prop paladins will be expected to heal themselves when they're at about, I don't know, 50% or lower health as opposed to trying to heal at as low health as you can possibly get away with. And Retribution Aura sucks. And if this talent still sucks by the next build, I'll talk about it more about suggestions and things that could possibly make it better. Finally, let's take a look at Azerite gear. Data mining from the current build gives us a glimpse at what to expect from this first round of Azerite traits. There's a trait that gives an additional 5 item level, so wow, it's like Warforging, whoop de do. There's a bunch of shared passives and procs too that fall under the categories of throughput or utility. And it's expected that each tier of Azerite gear will be either throughput or utility. You're not going to be choosing one over the other. The current examples include Elemental Whirl, which gives a random secondary stat. There are procs that give a single secondary stat, either haste, mastery, crit, versatility, and there's an absorb shield, a proc that lowers downtime, and you know, stuff like that. And there's one spec-specific trait. In the case of Protection Paladins, it lengthens our active mitigation by an additional 1 second, so 6 seconds, and a little bit more damage too. Just like any system with a lot of possibilities, I'm finding the Azerite system so far to be both exciting and boring. There will be choices that are better than others, there are smart people that'll figure that out. But the opportunity to stack less popular traits takes me back to the days of specking for unorthodox talent builds for fun. And that, to be honest, is a freedom that I miss. Some critics are already comparing this to the pitfalls of the Netherlight Crucible while failing to acknowledge that Azerite gear is swappable and transparent on loot tables, something that Artifact Relics in 7.3 certainly are not. That's all we have for Protection Paladin changes at the moment. Considering this stage of a development, I'm not going to draw any conclusions yet, but to be cautiously optimistic that Paladins will continue to be a strong tank, kind of immune to the up and down ranking throughout patch cycles, you know, that feeling that other tank classes sometimes experience. I don't encourage you to pass judgment on the spec yet either, but how do you feel so far? I'd love to hear your thoughts in a comment below. If this was useful for you, please hit that like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on these latest changes and all things Warcraft. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, and stay breezy.